Need to get myself together, I'm a man Straight up oh, okay, son. In bikini bottom, I'm a stand Oh, you should keep on drinking out of brand mm -hmm. You know how sticky it get Hey, 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 yo, Eric, bring them girls to the stage Cause somebody's getting paid And free big slime out of the cage Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be installing this 30 inch loose wave wig by Hermosa Hair. First things first, I'm going to be taking some alcohol. This is 91% and I'm just applying it on my skin where I'm going to be applying my wig. Just so that it sticks better to get rid of all of like, the oil and makeup that's on my skin. And then I just pop the wig onto my head y'all. Um, and I did dye this wig jet black by the way. I also bleached the knots on this wig and I plucked it just a little bit. And here I'm just cutting the lace off around my ear just to get rid of that excess lace. And I'm also going to be cutting this little slit down the middle because I do like to install my wig um, by section. Well, I, I like to split it into two sections. I do one half of my head and then I do the other half. And I'm going to be using my ball hole liquid gold to install this wig. I love this gel, y'all. It's not a glue. It's actually a gel. And it actually works really, really good. I love the bottle. I think I say that in every video. But I really do love, like, the applicator bottle. It just makes it so easy to apply it. And then I'm going to take my blow dryer. And I'm just going to blow dry this on a warm setting until it gets sticky. So you want the gel to be sticky or, like, kind of, like, tacky before you actually apply the lace into it. So after that, I just go ahead and I apply the lace and I'm just kind of pressing down on the lace and I'm trying to make sure that the hair doesn't stick to the lace. So I'm kind of like pulling the hair up as I'm combing, if that makes sense. And then I just do the other side. So I get a lot of questions on how long this gel lasts. For me personally, I probably can get around three days of like wear out of it before the lace starts looking crusty um if it starts looking crusty i can just take like some spray or something and like remelt the lace so that it doesn't look crusty anymore um so that's basically how i maintain my wigs whenever i do wear them and now i'm just cutting these slits into the lace because i'm about to cut the excess lace off and I'm just using an eyebrow razor to cut the lace off. You can use scissors. Um, I personally like to just use an eyebrow razor. I feel like it's easier. And you just get like more of like a like a less blunt cut. If you use scissors, you're going to have like a really straight cut. Sometimes I do have to go in and cut like excess lace that I didn't get off with the eyebrow razor. Um, but pretty much I just use the razor. Um, now I'm going to be pulling out some baby hairs because your girl loves her baby hairs. Okay, I just love me a good baby hair on a wig. Um, so I'm going to be doing this side and then I'm going to be doing like this little baby hair into the part type of baby hair over here. I know y'all be seeing it. Um, this is actually my favorite way to do baby hairs with my side parts. And I'm also going to have some sideburns as well. Then I'm going to take my Evan Wonder Lace Adhesive Spray and you got to use the black one. I don't think that the other ones work as good as the black one. And I'm just spraying this along the lace just to melt the lace even more. And also just create more of like a hold on it as well. And then I'm using this little elastic band that came with the wig. And I'm going to tie this down. So now I'm about to get this wig black girl so i'm gonna take my she is bomb wax stick and my and it's hot comb and i just kind of hot comb it in sections i just think it makes it get a lot flatter if you do it in sections instead of just doing starting at the top of your head um and i just use my hot comb and i'm literally just putting the wax stick on and then i'm going over top of it with the hot comb and this hot comb gets super hot y'all this is one of the best hot combs i've ever had it's at walmart or you can get it at walmart or target very inexpensive and it works super good another key to having a flat wig is by making sure the foundation under the wig is actually flat I personally like to do braids. I just feel like my wigs are so flat whenever it is braids underneath. Um, so whether you slick your hair back or do braids, you just want to make sure it's flat. Um, so I'm just kind of plucking some of the sideburns. I feel like it was a little bit too thick. And to cut my baby hairs, I like to use an eyebrow razor and I just kind of cut, cut at a slanty angle. Normally doing baby hairs on a wig give me such a hard time. Um, well, my closures they're a little bit easier, but on my frontals for some reason it just be difficult. But as of lately, I've been eating the baby hairs up. Okay, I don't know. I think it's my little new method, my new little method that I use. 
um with my products that i use but the baby hairs turn out great every single time so i'm just taking this little pencil flat iron and i'm curling the baby hairs um this just helps make it easier to actually lay them so this is the trick y'all you want to use mousse any mousse you got it doesn't matter it could be cheap it could be expensive whatever i'm using auntie jackie's the frizz patrol mousse and gel any gel it doesn't matter any type of gel um i'm using the argan oil eco styler gel and you want to mix them y'all this creates such a easy like i don't know what it is but it's just so easy to lay them when you just mix them together like i don't know but um this is my new method to lay my baby hairs i don't think i'm gonna go to anything else for my sideburns i actually only use gel i don't feel like using mousse is necessary but y'all they be eating every time now <laughs> And then you want to tie that down with an elastic band. Um, I actually like to tie it down for at least 20 to 30 minutes. You want to give it enough time for it to actually dry and just form, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, comes out great every single time. So I decided that I wanted to do crimps on this wig. So I'm using this Ion crimper. I will leave the link to this in the description box down below. This is such a great crimper. It is a little bit expensive, but I personally think it works really good for the price. And before I crimp each section, I just add some of the IC Hair Fantasia um, hair serum on each section and then I just go in and I crimp it. This hair is actually like a loose wave hair but personally i feel like the curls just wasn't giving at all so i had to go in with some crimps but i'm actually happy about it because the crimps are so cute and they just turned out so good and i was actually on the phone with my sister y'all i look like i was talking my ish <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna just let y'all watch me crimp my hair And as y'all can see, I was so proud of how it turned out. <laughs> But now I'm going to take some Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the color Coconut in this little fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pounce this on. Why did I say pounce? I'm just going to um, dab this on the lace. And just kind of make it more of like my skin tone so that it blends better. And then I'm also going to take some LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey. And this little slanted angle brush. And I'm going to define my part and make it super sleek and clean. Okay, y'all, so this is the end of the video, and I just want to say, lately, my frontals have been hitting, like, I don't know what's up, what's P, what I've been doing different, well, I know I would have been doing different, but the frontals been hitting, like, I normally can't eat a closure up, but the frontals usually give me a hard time, but as of lately, girl, I've been eating these things up, and it looks so... Good. I honestly think that this is one of my favorite hairstyles, like side part with crimps. This is loose, deep wave hair, and I actually thought that this hair was going to be a little bit more curly on the curly side, but I had to do crimps because it just wasn't, the curls just wasn't really popping. So I had to do crimps, which is okay. It's 30 inches, it getting too big, get it too big. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This wig is by Hermosa Hair. Great hair, great lace have no complaints about this wig it fits my head perfectly if y'all are interested in purchasing this wig i will leave the link to this hermosa wig down in the description box down below and i'll definitely catch you guys in the next one